Hey there, Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Here's your monthly reading for August, starting with the transits, the current transits. The Sun is at 17 Leo. The Moon is at 18 Capricorn. Mercury, 9 Virgo. Venus, 27 Cancer. Mars, 23 Taurus. Jupiter, retrograde, 8 Aries. Saturn, retrograde, 22 Aquarius. We have the full Moon on Thursday, the 11th. It will peak in San Antonio at approximately 8.35 p.m. The moon will be conjunct Saturn. It will be the last supermoon of the season. It will be especially intense. I'm starting this new thing. Candle wax divination. could be involved with Sagittarius or someone who has strong Sagittarius placements, Sun, Moon, Mars, etc., etc. I'm seeing a cock and balls. There could be a lot of sexting with someone who has strong Sagittarius in their natal chart, strong sexual connection. It looks like you'll be taking a trip together. You're going to Florida. You could be taking a cruise out of Florida, a cruise to the Bahamas maybe. You see a lot of sex. For some of you, a pregnancy. I saw that with one of the other signs. I forget which sign it was, but I saw a possible pregnancy. A lot of sex. A lot of sex. Literary Witches Oracle. Tony Morrison again. I got Tony Morrison for Virgo. Power. Okay. So Tony Morrison wrote a favorite novel of mine, Beloved. It's really intense. It's not a fun beach read. So I'll read again what the book says about Toni Morrison. Toni Morrison, Power. Owning power, seizing power, the powers at play. No American writer is more honor-laden than regal Toni Morrison, born 1931 who was born to a working-class family in Lorain, Ohio, a frequent setting for her epic novels of black experience. Her most famous work, Beloved, has become required reading, but wave that unjust homework aura away. Seek this novel for the haunted story it is, a deeply spooky and moving book about a vengeful baby ghost. Her Command of the English language is formidable. I'm on this writing kick lately. I've always been a writer since I was a child. My fifth grade homeroom teacher, Mrs. Becker, Sutter Elementary, Monahans, Texas, she really ignited the spark, but it started before that. But um, yeah, I won't get too deep into it. Currently I'm reading Sutri by Cormac McCarthy. Masterful language, it's quite intimidating. I've got to get back 
to it. I've got to get back to revising and writing. It's very daunting. It's very intimidating. I feel hopeless, but I've got to just shake off the cobwebs and just be the goat that I am and persist, persist, persist. Saturn tops my chart. I have Saturn and Gemini in the 10th and I have a fuck ton in Capricorn. Six cards for Libra. Judgment. The last inch feels like a mile. The magician. Six of coins. This is a head scratcher. Usually I just dive right into it. I don't really have much trouble explaining six cards. Something comes to mind immediately and I just, I see the connection, but I'm not seeing it with these six cards. I see you wanting to manifest this substantial committed, beautiful, harmonious relationship. But I'm not getting the sense, I'm not getting the energy of the other person. And we have the Sagittarius Gemini axis. I feel like communication is a problem. Ordinarily, with Ten of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles, I would say there's mutuality, there's reciprocity, there's substantial exchange. But something is off here. This is the first sign I've done this for this cycle, but I'm going to go ahead and clarify each card because something is just really off here. Please clarify Queen of Cups over Judgment one card. King of Swords. You're dealing with someone who is very fickle, very aloof, very emotionally unavailable. Communication is sporadic. I'm not seeing consistent communication. Please clarify Ten of Pentacles over the Magician, one card. Four of Cups. This connection currently feels rather stale. Resentment is creeping in. You've invested a lot in this already. I feel like distance may be a factor. This could be a long distance relationship. You've flown to be with them, they've flown to be with you. Um, but that intense, crazy in love feeling, that's not where we're at. We're not in the throes of infatuation. You're doing a hard assessment. You're saying, 
do I want to continue with this person? Is this going to be the relationship that I was hoping for? Or no, not at all. Please clarify two of wands over six of pentacles, one card. Six of swords. feels very cold. I'm getting physical, geographical, and emotional distance. Um, you're wondering about your person of interest. You're wondering where their head is at. Please show in three cards what is going on with Libra's person of interest. How are they feeling about this connection? Three cards. Queen of Wands, Seven of Cups, Two of Swords. I'm really not connecting the dots here because according to these three cards, they're very into you sexually. They are infatuated. They are thinking of you. So what the hell is up with the Two of Swords? What is up with the Two of Swords? I don't get it. Make it make sense. One more card for Libra. Uno mas por favor. Knight of Wands. Okay, this is what I'm getting. They are very into you sexually, but there's some kind of blockage here. I don't know what the fuck it is. I'm not really getting third party vibes. It could be that their career is taught priority and they have a very stressful career and they come to you for relief and release but it's almost like they're patronizing you they're putting you in a specific category and it's not friends with benefits I feel like it is a relationship I feel like you've discussed marriage but they're not giving you their best they're not being completely honest. They're not being completely available. Um, I would have to keep pulling cards to really grasp what's going on here. It's, it's challenging. This happens very rarely. <clears throat> For I pull this many cards and I still don't really know what the fuck is going on. Um, This person has a very high sex drive. They have a lot of masculine energy, regardless of their gender or sexual preference. When I say masculine energy, I mean they have a lot of fire and air in their natal chart. A possible astral combo, one possible astral combo for this person, one possibility of minis. One possibility of minis. I'm trying to think on so many levels right now and I'm challenged. Started with Aries, I'm going to do Libra and then Scorpio and then I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to hang up the spurs. Um, a possible astro combo for this person that you're dealing with. Uh, they could have Sun in Aries, Moon in Aquarius, Sagittarius rising. 
I don't think they're warm and cuddly. I don't think their love language is one that's familiar with you. Your love language is probably spending quality time together, maybe affection, showing affection, holding hands. You know, you don't just take off your clothes and get into bed. There's, there's intimacy before you actually have sex and there's intimacy after the sex. That's my love language, warmth, affection, and quality time. And their love language could be acts of service or giving gifts. Um, if this is a man, I feel like he has this weird thing with his mom. His mom is very cold with him. It's very distant. Maybe when he was a kid, he didn't get a lot of affection from his mom. I don't know. You could have a really cold mom who doesn't show, doesn't express emotions very well. So he's blocked. This person is blocked. They're really good at the sex part, but the stuff around the sex, the, the intimacy, the emotional connection, they suck at that. Uh, also, you could be suspicious. They're talking to other people. They could be very flirtatious. Uh, because they are so sexual, you may worry that when you're not together, because I'm seeing long distance, when you're not together, you're wondering who are they talking to, who are they having sex with. So there's mistrust. There is anxiety. There are a lot of question marks. A lot of blanks, a lot of blank spaces. Um, I'm seeing that Harrison Ford, Michelle Pfeiffer movie, What Lies Beneath. It's a really well-made movie. Um, and I'm hearing the song from the 80s. I don't know what the group is called, but the song is, I think it's something, there's something going on. I know there's something going on. It's just really creepy, but beautiful song, I think. Um, you never know where you stand with this person, so you like the idea of creating this partnership, getting married eventually, but there are a lot of questions that have to be answered before you exchange vows. I mean, what is going on with this person? Can you trust this person? According to these cards, no. This person is very codependent. They don't like to be alone. So when they're not with you, they could be with someone else. They could be talking to other people. That's a hell of a note to end this on. Not a personal reading. I'm just interpreting the cards in front of me. I'm reading for a global audience. Um, it's your story or it isn't. But this is a really strange spread. Um, it's a relationship, but I don't feel like they're being completely honest with you. They're not really being available. That's what I have for Libra. I hope that helps, entertains in some way. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.